Mm-hmm. How's your father doing? Not well. Anymore. Yeah. Um, the, his partner, Kevin Skinner. Um, <laughs> don't want to talk about him. Moving right along. And I didn't talk to him, Whitney. I don't want to talk about him. He's not my friend, okay? Okay. You want to be my friend? I like to be your friend, I think. Well, you're so defensive. Is this how you treat your friends? No, <laughs> but you're not my friend. You just said you want to be my friend. That's what I want. See, see, I want to be your friend. When's the, next, I am your friend. when's the next time you're going to hit the big screen? I'm working on it, dude, girl. I'm working on it. I got some script today. I'm going to read, read it on them and look at them. But you know, I'm very careful about the movies I do. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's just a matter of time. Great. So how long do you think that you're going to be, uh, how long will it be between albums? Have you already started um, mulling over in your head when your next album's going to come out and what kind of material you're going to be working with? Yes, I am, as a matter of fact. Have you spoken to Brandy since she had her baby? Yes, I talk to her maybe every week. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, because you're, the kind of money that you have is like, you know, beyond most people's imagination. When dear friends like Brandy have babies, do you actually pick out a gift for them or do you send like an assistant to No, no, I pick out my gifts, darling. What did people, you... people are personal to me. I pick my own gifts out. What did you get for Brandy? I got her um, a silver rattle that um, it took me rattle and I got her picture frame that um, has my name and Bobby's name on it, Auntie Whitney, Uncle Bobby, and Cousin Chrissy. And, you know, it's like a family thing, so that you have a keepsake for the rest of the life. Do you ever do simple things like go to the grocery store? Yeah, I went yesterday to the gas. Yeah? Yeah. And what kind of what kind of car were you putting the gas in? I was putting the gas into a white Hummer. Wow. And so, do you, do, um, did you get it in your neighborhood so they're already used to seeing you, or did you get it elsewhere? No, I got it in uh, my neighborhood. Do you live a relatively normal life in that in that area where you live? No. You constantly have people in the woods trying to take pictures and all that. Hello. Thing? I mean, come on, Wendy. You don't make it any better. <laughs> but um, actually, yeah, I have people in the woods and in the trees and, and want to follow me and yeah, the whole nine yards, Wendy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when it's just you and Bobby, Christina in the house, the three of you, um, who who is part of the staff of your house who's always there as well? You know, besides Jesus. <laughs> I got, I got you. Jesus, constantly. Okay. Anybody else may come and go, but he's a constant stay. How's, how's your mom doing? Does she live there in the house? And she's a constant stay too, but she does not live with me. No, my mother does not. I have family mostly around me. My brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my niece, people like that. How do you get along with Bobby's baby's mother? <laughs> You are the terrible girl. Oh my God, you are so deep. I mean, oh, you're so like, you know, like nosy. Ah, I am. You are so nosy, man. I am. It's not just you. I'm like this with everybody I with know me. You are. Your son must be like, mom. No, he asked the questions. That every other word from him was, but why? But why? I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Um, what did you say again? How do you get along with Bobby's baby's mother? We can all just fine. We can all just fine because we're grown women. And um, I love her babies because they're my stepchildren and I care for her children as if, you know, they are mine when they're with me. So um, you may take that relationship with your stepchildren. Me and Bobby's baby's mama don't have any problem because I don't create none. And if there is some, I can finish it. Yeah. Well, we can we can talk about it and get an understanding. Has there ever been a conflict as far as maybe Bobby Christina getting more attention from Bobby? No. Than the other kids? No. There's always that, you know, there's a constant, you know, where the kids get together and they, you know, constant normal, shit, you know, but basically, um, you know, it's it's pretty normal. But Bobby gives his children, you know, this kind of attention that when they're together, they're his children. Yeah. But of course, you know, he's my husband and he lives with me and Chrissy, so she does it more of the time. Did you get on Bobby after you saw the BET making of Jar Rolls video? Because the rest of the country was kind of like, wow, look at Bobby. He, Bobby was kind of tossed up during that video. Video, Whitney. Did he really now? Bobby look high, Whitney. He did. Bobby look. Oh. <laughs> 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 but see, there was Ty Rule in there. There was Bobby. There was other folk. But you ain't said shit about them. Yeah, but but Bobby. Yeah, because yeah, all he wanted to come shit on is Bobby. No, as a matter of fact, Bobby was pretty cool, honey. He did his gig. He's 11. What? Come on, you talk to me.
Mm-hmm. That's what I heard. Is 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 Bob? I, I realized that being married, you know, your money is is you know Bobby's money and vice versa. Right. But um, when you know, so you guys don't have any money problems. Well, no, Wendy, not to sell my estate, as you said on the radio yesterday. Uh, no, I didn't say you were selling your estate for money reasons. I said you were selling your estate to get more privacy. You know? Oh, I understand. No, no. Okay, thank you, darling, for clarifying that. We, no, I, I, I'm not selling my estate, and um, Bobby and I are doing just fine. Thank you. Were you were you responsible for Bobby leaving New Edition? I didn't even know him then. No, 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 no. The second time around when they did the the come home tour. No, no. I said no at all. They had their own relationship. Have you ever encouraged Bobby to uh, possibly, you know, because the guys from New Edition um, have interviewed and said that they would love if Bobby came back, you know, That's to the That's Bobby's group. world. It's not mine. It's his decision. He's a New Edition member. I'm not. Did you ever hear that, that, that people were buzzing that your relationship with Wyclef was really close and that Bobby and you fought over it? You, really? Yeah. No, 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 we don't do that. White Club and I are friends. We grew up together in the hood. He for me started to so am I. And um, that's about as far as that goes. And we musically um, do work together. And that's it. There is no battle. There's no fighting. That's crazy. Well, at one point, there was a beef between Bobby and Babyface. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, well why don't you talk about the Babyface about that? You know what, Whitney? You, you are, are baby. You are something else. <laughs> I've been waiting to talk to you, Wendy. I love you, darling. When are you coming to the studio? When am I coming to your studio? Yeah. You really want me to come there? I would love that. Oh, my Lord. Well, we got to make a date, okay? Yes, we do. Look, uh, do you uh, want to have more children? Yes, I do. I want a little boy. Mm. I want a mama's boy. And you're going to be 40 this year, right? Oh, tell the world, why don't you? Oh, you low down dirty dog. Whitney, you look great. Yeah. Thank you, baby. I feel good, too. Thank I mean, you. The, uh, the only thing is that you said, um, Whitney will never be fat. No. I was like, how dare her? Never. Who is that, a diss to all fat girls? No, I just won't be fat. Sorry, not good, not healthy. Have you ever heard anybody being fat, being healthy? Well, you know, being extremely fat or being extremely thin, like on with you on the Michael well, Jackson special. Eating, eating extreme is not good. Yeah. Not good at all, okay? Yeah. Not good at all. So, uh, you know, pull it together and move on. You smoke weed? Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Mariah Carey was on the show and said that she loves you more than ever. I love that little lamb chop. And I just wanted you to know that. How I love feel? that lamb chop. She's my girl. Have you? Uh, yes, yeah, she is nice. She's very sweet. She was here like two weeks ago. Yeah, she's a bomb. She denied her breast implants. Do you deny yours? <laughs> No. See, that's no. my girl with me. No. I got them, too. I mean, aren't they the best? I mean, you know, it's like what? I mean, you know, if you want to go for it, go for it. You know what I mean? Do you ever wish that you got them bigger? No. My husband loves them. Yeah, 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 yeah. He loves them. Yeah. They sit nice. They're very well proportioned with you. It's just that at one point when you lost so much weight, though, they did look like two baseballs on a stick. Yeah, they look really weird. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that when you look at yourself in the mirror, you have some reservations about your looks, too. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 y
and I love you, but I don't live for you. I don't live for you. You talk about me. You you, you call me out my name. You, you 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 make my mother call me and ask me questions. You make my father sick. You make my brother sick. You make my childhood. You don't talk about me like you know me. You ain't gonna you never see me in your damn life. But you talk about me. That's not right. There's a limit to what you can say. And if I was really like that back in the day in North, I'd meet you outside. I'd meet you outside. But I'm a lady and I have a class. But I'll talk to you, Wendy, because I love you, because you're a fan. You know it. I am. I know, baby. I'm a fan of your I'm entire experience, though. Not I don't just take no shit like that. Those are fighting words sometimes you say.